So I'll start off by introducing ourselves. So we're Cloud Design Box and we specialize in SharePoint and Teams in education. And we work with over 400 schools across the UK and some internationally, including many showcase schools and edutech demonstrator schools. And these are some of the challenges that we come across uh, with schools using Microsoft Teams and SharePoint. Um, it tends to increase teacher workload rather than reduce it. So we find that teachers spend hours creating resources and uploading them over and over again to all the different classes they teach every academic year. So instead of saving teachers time, it creates some more work. And for SLT and senior leaders, checking the quality of those resources that are being used in the classroom is very difficult because there's lots of different classes. Each class has a slightly different version of that resource. Um, and there's no real way to quality check those resources to drive up the quality of teacher learning. Communication is always a problem in schools and you tend to find that email is overused. So how do you improve communication across the entire school? And poor adoption of technology, there's no point investing in a solution if only a small group of teachers are going to use it really well. So what you, may, you might have found with SharePoint and Teams is you might have some teachers who do amazing things with it, but then others who just don't use it to its full potential. So it's about bringing everybody on that journey with you. And having a single solution, you might not realize that SharePoint and Teams can actually do a lot of things that other products do. And there might be some overlap in which you can use one single solution. And the aim is to try and make it as simple as possible so teachers can just turn up and teach. And we do that with our Cloudbox solutions, which help automate all of your class teams, your subject teams, your department teams, your year group teams, your student folders, and everything else which we'll show you in the demo. But then also by helping you with that long-term strategy, ongoing support and training so that you get used really well across the entire school over the long term. Even after the project's been completed, we're here to help support you all year round. Our customers stay with us because we're here to help them, not just from a technical perspective, because we have unlimited technical support for a technical leader at the school, but we also provide unlimited teaching and learning support for a teaching and learning lead at the school. So it's very much driven by the curriculum. So in terms of the solution that we'll look at today, um, these are some of the benefits. So. We, we create centralized resource areas, meaning teachers can share resources with other teachers in their department, and they can reuse those resources in all their classes every academic year, reducing their workload. Department leaders can check the quality of those resources because they're in a single location, saving time so they're not having to micromanage individual classes. And department leaders can also check that work's been set by teachers using our analytic dashboard. We provide a SharePoint intranet so you can publish news and information and resources to the whole school. And we provide SharePoint and Teams and make it easy to use using a simple interface. We really focus on the user adoption aspect of this. So we work with the school to plan a long-term strategy. Changing everything overnight can overwhelm teachers. So we would recommend a long-term plan to make sure that we don't leave anybody behind on your journey. Within these timeframes, we provide training because we're a Microsoft Global Training Partner and our sessions are CPD certified so they can gain their badges and certificates as they go through that training program. We work with a large number of schools and mats across the UK. Here's a few examples of them. And we've also got some quotes here. Um, Bradford Gales Grammar is a great example of using Class Notebook and Teams in the classroom. We've done some really interesting podcasts with them. Um, on YouTube, so definitely checking the, uh, definitely recommend checking those out if you get chance. And this is a process that we take you through to make sure that you get everybody onboarded with SharePoint and Teams. So when we get started, we invite you into a planning team, and that might be your technical lead, but also a lead from teaching learning, because we see this very much as a teaching learning led project. Um, after we've done the introduction and we've completed all the prerequisites. We'll then build the solution and hand it over to you so you can test and uh, do some snagging. And then we then do a final technical handover um, to the technical team at your school. And then we do a separate teaching and learning handover which focuses on the teaching and learning aspects of the product, um, including how they map to educational frameworks. 
And then after that, we've got ongoing support. So we're here to help support you the whole year round. And also the CPD certified training if you're a gold or platinum customer. So you probably already have a digital strategy at the school, um, something similar to this. And we're here to support you with the Teams and SharePoint aspect of that. So it's all about communicating that vision to the school. Where do you want to be in a year's time, two years time? What are the benefits for staff and how are you going to communicate it to them? Giving key people ownership over the project. So again, we see this very much as a teaching learning led project rather than just IT driven and having that long-term plan and milestone dates in place. So again, we don't want to overwhelm people by changing everything overnight, but you might have um, a plan that goes across the academic year, and maybe the first term you run your old system and your new system side by side. The following term, you make your old system read-only so people can still access it. And then finally, you switch over. And during that first term, you'll give your staff the training so they get the confidence using the system. And you want to measure how well that training's going because there might be some invisible barriers to using it that you're not aware of, whether it's devices, internet connection, or training, CPD issues, uh, that you might need to resolve before you get the full rollout across the entire school. So it's okay to change that and adjust your digital strategy as you go along. So now it's time to jump into a demo. So I'm going to start off in SharePoint but everything I show you today is available in both SharePoint and Teams. So this is the school branded intranet that we create. And you'll see that you've got things like the school logo at the top. We've got some important links. We've got news from around the school and any authoritative news will be banded with the red, uh, with the highlighted banner at the top of the news item. Uh, we've got things like word of the day and links to important places. Uh, my assignments from Teams get fed into here, my class teams, and there's some useful blogs on the page as well. But the idea is you can edit these pages and you can add whatever content you want. And we're here to help support you do that. But we're just giving you that starting point to get started. And across the top where you've got the school logo and school colors, you've got the menu. And when you open this up, it gives you access to all the sites and teams that you have access to across the entire school. So this menu is personalized for you, so you'll only see the, the items that you have access to. So going across the columns left to right, you've got the communication sites, and this is your traditional SharePoint intranet, where you've got access to, um, any. Uh, this is where you can publish resources to wide audiences across the school. So you might have something like a library site, where the librarians might update this site, might put things on like books of the week, countdown to World Book Day, but everybody else can just see the site and they can visit it. You might have a, a staff site, um, where which might be your staff room, where you could put things like policies and staff handbooks. You could have your weekly or daily lunch rotor, staff briefing posted on there, your staff only news. And the idea is again, with this site, you can grow these pages over time. So you might do things in SharePoint such as upload your policies and put in expiry dates and set reminders. And again, that's all available out of the box. And um, you've then got your collaboration teams and these are your non-curricular um, teams. We can work together in small teams of people in secure areas. The idea behind this is, a, is eventually it's going to replace your on-premise file shares that you might still have. Um, and again, this is a better, more secure place to store those resources, but everybody gets the full benefits of moving to the cloud so they can access it anywhere on any device. So a quick example of that, if I was in the data team, I would see the data team link here. And if I go into that site, I can see all the channels in here. I can go into the exam analysis channel and I can work on my documents within SharePoint. You'll see I can also switch into the Teams view and inside Teams, I can do my chat and my video calls with the rest of the data team. And in Teams, I can click the Open in SharePoint button and come back into this view where I've got things like Recycle Bin and Version History built into this. So you can go in either way into those teams. It's just to make it easy to access in, in, in a well-governed menu. And then I've got my curriculum areas, so my classes, my subjects, and my departments. And your classes are created from your MIS data automatically every academic year. So a typical secondary school might have 1,200 of these created every academic year. 
And one of the main problems with that is if I'm a teacher and I teach, you know, four different history classes every academic year, that means I have to upload my resources four times every academic year, which is more work for me as a teacher, but it also means that I've got different versions of different resources and different teams. So it's a lot of duplication um, of resources. So what we do is we create some centralized resource areas that both teachers and students can access. And again, these are created and populated automatically from your class data. So if I was a history teacher or if I was a student enrolled on history, I would see the history link here and I can open up the history site and I've got some staff only resources available and they're also available in a staff only team where staff can chat and video call and have their meetings together. But then there's also some student facing resources that students can see, but they can't edit. And you'll see that in this example, I've got U group based libraries. But as I go up through the school, I'll get access to more and more resources. So if I was in year 11, I can see previous academic years, such as year 11, but I can't see any age inappropriate content. But you might decide to have it key stage based or course based, depending how you teach the curriculum. And if I go into the year 11 library, you see it's a normal SharePoint library that you can drag and drop your documents into. And you can create your own folder structures in here. But the idea is that you can tag resources in here if you wanted to um, and it's automatically security trim so you don't have to mess about with permissions or adding teachers and students to it. It all gets populated automatically from your class data. So there is the option to tag resources um, and I could tag it with something like an exam paper, uh, an exam board. So I could tag it with, you know, AQA um, key stage four and that will drill down into those resources that have been tagged with those sp specific tags. But SharePoint search works really well even if you don't tag resources and that's completely optional for the teachers who look after those areas. In addition to the subject sites you've also got the department teams and these are staff only areas where you can share resources across your department but it's also a place for line management and CPD. So you get a staff notebook inside the department team so for example you might have history, um, RE and geography as separate subjects that you teach but there might also be a requirement for a humanities department where your line manager could do some uh, line management appraisals um, or you could do some CPD tracking within those staff notebooks. When it comes to your class teams we can open up the class dashboard and I can quickly and easily see all the classes that I teach as a teacher or all the students I, uh, or all the classes I'm enrolled on if I'm a student. I can go back to a previous academic year. If, if you've been using us for more than a year, you can go back, you can see your archive classes from a previous year. And that's just a really quick and easy way to get into those archive classes. And if I select one of these uh, classes, so this history set one class, I can see all the students in that group. And again, your pictures come from your MIS system and I can jump straight into that class team, straight into the relevant area within Teams. So if you're already familiar with Teams and class teams, I'll just show you the extra things that we add on to make life a bit easier. So you, for example, you might have 1200 uh, class teams in a typical secondary school. And what we do is we automatically add on an extra tab for every single history class every single academic year to those long-term resource areas that we just saw earlier inside SharePoint. So these are those same Elizabethan England resources that we just saw earlier inside SharePoint, but they're available to the student and the teacher without them even leaving the team. So they'll always be available every academic year. So as a teacher, you don't have to keep uploading resources to every single class team. They're always available. And as a head of department, you've got one place to prove the quality of those resources in your central resource area. And of course, there might be requirements for differentiation, and that's okay. You can always copy it into your class team from that master copy. We could even share those differentiated copies back into that central resource part. So, you could, so you've got a place for your more advanced resources and your beginner resources available to everybody. Because we create those central resource areas as teams, as well as SharePoint sites, it means when you do come to create a new, announce, uh, a new assignment, when you come to attach a resource from the team, you can quickly and easily grab that history team, grab that year 11 
Elizabethan England uh, worksheet. And I can just use it directly in that assignment without having to download and upload resources. So hopefully going to save you a lot of time. We can also sync the parents from your MIS as well. And Microsoft provide a weekly email digest that they send to those parents. So parents can get a weekly summary of what works overdue if they've returned their work on time. Um, so it's really quick and easy way for parents to keep engaged with their students' work inside Teams. And Microsoft also have plans for a parental app, which uh, should be released in 2023. Another thing we add into these class teams are student folders. And you'll see that every student gets their own folder in here. Teacher can see everybody's, but the student can only see their own. And that's just a quick and easy way to drop off some work with that teacher. So typically you might use class notebook, you might use assignments, but there might be other situations where you need to drop off maybe a media file or some other documents for that teacher. This is a quick and easy way to do it, much easier than trying to share it from OneDrive and then remember where all the links are for all those 30 students in that class. So we'll create um, those potentially 1200 class teams and automate them and sync the memberships overnight. We'll also create the subject teams and we'll automatically synchronize those users as well. And the department teams, and again, those get automated uh, from that class data. We can also create an all teacher and an all staff team as well. So it's a place where you can improve communication, get rid of that email traffic, and just help connect up the departments across your school. We mentioned earlier that everything we were showing in SharePoint is available in Teams. So if you've adopted Teams really well already, we can set up something called Viva Connections, which is an app inside Teams, which brings your SharePoint intranet into Teams. So you can, again, easily access everything from within Teams itself. So if you want to track student engagement in Teams, you can do that out of the box with Insights uh, really well. And there's also premium insights, which um, unfortunately you have to pay for, but Microsoft also provide that. But one of the things that we provide with our solution is the ability to track uh, teacher engagement and how well they're using Teams assignments. So we've got an analytic dashboard. You can export this for your own Power BI dashboards if you wanted to. You can show how much assignments are being used over time. You can sort it by the concept of a subject. And so if one subject's using it really well, but others aren't, you could focus your CPD and training time on those subject areas. I can drill down into that subject and see how well they're using it. I can drill down into an individual class and I can see what assignments were set when they're created and when they do. And we are going to step further with this. Um, early next year, we're going to release an assignment lookup tool. So teachers who don't normally teach a particular child, they can look up that student and they can see what assignments were set and where they are with them if they're overdue, if they've been graded. While we're in this admin portal, you'll also see there's a cover manager where you can quickly and easily grab a teacher and add them into a class that they don't normally teach. And you might add them in for a single day if you're observing a lesson, or for a whole week if they're self-isolating or to the end of the academic year if you wanted to. Click save, it'll instantly add that teacher into that class team and automatically remove them. So again, as a head of department, you don't, you don't need to keep track of the quality of the resources because they've got the central resource areas. So you don't need to go into every single class team to check that. You've got the analytics to make sure that teachers are setting work without having to individually check all of those class teams across your department. And if you did need to observe a lesson, you can use a cover manager to temporarily jump into a, a class team and see what is happening inside that class team. And you can even delegate, delegate this to your data manager so they can do quick and easy cover in here. Ideally, they change it in the, in the MIS and it all syncs across uh, overnight, but we know that's not always possible. So this is a, a flexible solution for that. And if you did want to create extra SharePoint sites inside that uh, menu, then you can always fill in the form here for either a team site or a communication site, populate the form so I can create a training team add it with one of the templates. It could be a staff template if you've got things like line management through the uh, staff notebook. Add it into one of the menu columns and type in the owners and the members. And as soon as you click save, it'll start creating that site. It'll permission it, it'll make sure it's a private team, not a public team, so you don't get your data breaches. Add it to the menu, add the web parts to the page, 
and you're ready to go. There's a nice audit trail of who's created what site. And again, you can lock this down and you can delegate it to people who aren't SharePoint admins so they can just create sites in the right format. So in terms of the different packages we provide, everything I've showed you so far in the demonstrations is available in all of our packages. But we do focus on CPD and training with the Gold and Platinum solutions. So um, with the Gold solution and the Platinum solution, you've got your MIE uh, badges that you get from attending the uh, training sessions that we provide, the CPD certificates as well that staff get for attending those online training workshops. Um, we also help you with things like training needs analysis, um, user adoption and rollout advice. We've got lots of documentation and advice and people to talk to to help you through that process. With Platinum, we do more of that so we can train either in smaller groups or get get uh, train more teachers. Um, and we've also got things like our digital strategy report for leaders where we interview t uh, where we interview some staff leaders in the school and we put together a report on how well it's been used across the school and things that you can put into your strategy to help improve that. And we've also got ongoing uh, training options with Platinum as well, such as on-site training. You also notice that with Gold and Platinum, you get a self-service training portal, and you'll see that available in the top right of your SharePoint portal for the school. And we send out regular updates to this, and you can access all of the self-service CPD resources here, such as some of the courses you can do in your own CPD time under self-directed learning. And there's a quiz to fill out at the end to get your CPD certificate. So just to summarise, we're there to help add those benefits, to help save teacher time, but also help accelerate that digital transformation in your school by making sure you bring everybody on that journey with you. And these are the next steps. So if you did want to get started, and then what we do is we plan out that introduction meeting, invite everybody into that planning team, and give you an overview of the whole project. And then once we've built the sites, you get to review it and have looked at it, and then we do a proper uh, technical handover for your technical staff, and a separate teacher learning handover for your teaching and learning leads where we match it to education frameworks. And then once you're live, then we've got the ongoing support throughout the year to help you um, throughout the academic year, and also CPD certified training for our gold and platinum solutions. So feel free to get in touch if you require any further information. Um, we are happy to do one-on-one -on -one demonstrations um, and answer any questions that you have.